Pedro Pascal, the star of The Mandalorian, has been cast to play the lead role of Joel in HBO's The Last of Us adaptation. Uh, likewise, Bella Ramsey, who portrayed Liana Mormont in the in the network's uh, Game of Thrones adaptation, has been cast as Ellie. And like, I I don't care about fucking adaptations. Like, uh, if it's a book to movie, fine, whatever. But I don't give a fuck about video game movies generally, especially since they've been so shit. And, like, so much of the inherent magic of video games is being able to control those characters and just it inherently makes you give a shit more when you're controlling the character. Uh, um, but the fact that they have these two actors specifically is a huge fucking plus for me. Like, mm-hmm. uh, Pascal is a fucking amazing actor. Like, in the very rare occasions he's had his, like, actual face on screen in The Mandalorian. But even in Game of Thrones, uh, he gave a... Quite a sight to see, uh, quite piercing, one might say. Um, and then Bella Ramsey, who was, uh, for those that don't know, uh, Liana Mormont was the, um, what's the word? I'm going to say Yarl because I don't know the fucking name. She was the head president, whatever the fuck, of uh, a house, yeah, that, uh, a Batterman house. <laughs> so the, the starts. Acting CEO. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was, she was like the fucking like 11 12 year old girl whatever that was that was in charge and she was a fucking badass uh uh and like what, whatever you want to say about like the last season game of thrones whatever that's not the actor's fucking fault uh but she was great in the role and i i think that's perfect fucking casting and i well i'm not gonna I don't want to say I don't give a shit about the adaptation, even though my little diatribe at the beginning. But I'll at the say very I least, I think it has talent. Go on. <laughs> um, that allows more people to know about Joel and Ellie, then it's worth it. Yeah. Hopefully, you get more eh. people to play games, or whatever. It won't. No. I, I think the people that give a shit about Last of Us because it's a game already give a shit about it. Mm hmm. I mean, it's, I mean, like, I'm, I mean, like, for people who can't play games, like my mom. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of apathetic. I mean, I, I guess to elaborate on what I assume Jose was getting at, but didn't maybe want to go fully into, like, I'm just kind of apathetic to a lot of adaptations these days. Not like, oh, you can't do a good one, but just like, I feel like unless you're, like, unless you're. I don't really seem to care anymore unless you're doing an adaptation that is like actually interesting for someone who has experienced the property and is not just a retelling. Like I am more happy that Pedro Pascal is getting like good work that I know he's going to get paid for. Cause that man's a brilliant fucking actor than I am like that. A last of us adaptation is happening when last of us is also like a, like a movie game pretty much anyway, or well, it's how naughty dog has always been very like tried to do the actual version of pushing cinema, cinema, Cinematum cinematic gameplay. I sorry, I'm one sider I'm two siders in now. I, I think I'm like of two thoughts of it. To to build off of one of your points about uh you don't care about adaptations like specifically if they're also like a one to one recreation. Like if it's gonna be an adaptation from something I've already experienced, like fuck it, go wild, make 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 some like crazy divergences because I don't wanna just like if it's, if it's a game to a movie, I don't want a one to one because it's like I already experienced that. Can I like shake things up, do do some things different? Because otherwise, it's just going to be a monotonous experience. Like even if it's in a different medium, but I I think there's a criticism some people have towards The Last of Us in general that they would say the story in The Last of Us isn't necessarily anything that hasn't already been done in cinema, and the fact that it stands out in games is because it's like the first. I, I'm it, not necessarily my my own beliefs, but I'm just going to air quote here. It's it's not it's so it it's been done in movies, but it's the first great video game story, and and so like the the premise behind that would be that it's a it's a low bar. I don't necessarily agree with it, but um, fuck, where was I going with this? I have I no idea. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. Like, like to me, the magic of the story, like, yes, even if it's been recreated in film before, not recreated, it's, it's been done in film before. I feel so much of the experience is actually playing it. And you can't get that if it's a movie. It, it You just will not give a shit as much. But like you said, like, um, uh, I think Mason said it. Like, yeah, like, uh, his mom's not going to play the game. So if this is the way that they can experience it, something that's a good experience, then yeah, 
I I have yeah. no issue with that. I like I like I like when people do the whole let's do our own story in the universe. I'm a big fan of mm-hmm. that and stuff because I feel like that's um that's um my brain just came to a screeching halt. Um, yeah, that's, um, the safest way to do it without, like, pissing off fans who are like, you gotta get it exactly right, while also not, like, pissing people off like me who are just like, I don't want to see the same story a second time. Mm-hmm. That's why I was kind of happy when, um, I think I saw, I, I know you and me have talked about this, um, about this uh, manga before, uh, Gaunt's, like, with all its problematic stuff in there, um, the so i originally watched the first like little i think it's like 10 episode anime they did it was yeah something like 10 or 12 or something yeah and then you go to the manga and it just like makes completely wild divergences and obviously the manga was there before the anime it didn't finish before the anime started that's why the anime went into something you're about to say it i'm sorry yeah it's it's all good um i mean I guess I kind of experienced something like that before with Full Metal Alchemist, where, yeah, like that first anime adaptation goes off in like a completely different direction because the mm-hmm. source material wasn't finished. And it's to good with it. And, yeah, uh, to the part I, pref- I think I prefer the ending of the original anime then. I, uh, I think the story overall is obviously better from the manga and the second anime, right? Mm-hmm. But I think I like the ending for the first one more. I think it's hard for me to even give a preference because they kind of go for two completely radically different things mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. The, the 2003 anime, I believe it's 2003. Yep, um, right. It goes for a much more like somber, serious tone. And uh, there's a lot of serious stuff in the manga adaptation slash brotherhood, whatever. Um, but they ultimately have two very different goals. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there, there's something about that 2003 fucking atmosphere um, that I fucking love. But, but like that, that's that's why like I will go back and watch a 2003 anime and go reread the manga or watch Brotherhood because they're two different things. I'm not just watching the same fucking thing, but with like better um, animation. Mm-hmm. This is now a Full Metal Alchemist podcast. Oh yeah. Uh, I also I, I also like how the homunculus work in the original more than um, the 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 the, the, act, the the actual manga. Mm, I'm kind of split on that. I, I think there's like certain homunculuses, like th- some of them even like they both exist in the story very similarly, but they have different names. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's kind of a mixed bag. Like I think sloth in the, and, um, and the 2003 anime is a lot better compared to the, mm-hmm. to, compared to the manga, but there, there's kind of a lot of vice versa stuff also. Matt, yeah. why are you crying? I'm trying to record a podcast. They disagree, obviously. <laughs> she has strong feelings. Um, I, I, I just, don't know. If, I guess I, I, I just don't. I I'm personally, sorry, I guess I just don't like the the whole. Um, uh, I don't like the whole. Oh, the whole secret plot aspect of it. I guess I just. I just. I much prefer this like band. To, this new band. The band together rather than secret plot. You know what I mean? What did you think of the movie? Um, it's, it's funny, but it's, it's not good, but like, um, the movie isn't good. Um, it's better than the, the second movie that they made. Um, and at least it does tie into, to the, the, the that story. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know if I want to give like a wide endorsement on Gaunt's. I think it comes with a giant fucking mm-hmm. red flag of, content warnings and this um i I blank probably speak to it more about what the author's own beliefs and whatnot but i would say i widely enjoy it but know that there's a lot of stuff you should know before you go in and whether you can Mm -hmm. handle it Uh, this is now an anime podcast yeah hell yeah at least at least i was answering a message so i missed Mm -hmm. a lot of that sorry Oh Maybe. no problem. Just full metal and and gaunts mostly. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess what I'm gonna watch right after this. <laughs> I'm at least with um with the uh, uh JoJo um shoot what's his name again? My name my head's blanking. Joseph Joestar. 
No, the the writer of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Who's his name? Also JoJo. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna look it up. JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure. Adventure. Hirohiko Araki. That's it. At least with Araki, he's very he's very straightforward. He's a simple man. I uh, mean, there is that whole part two, like allying yourself with the Nazis, being like, he's an okay guy. Yeah, well, you know, it's so it's, he dies, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but I'm very excited to see the internet's reaction to the next part. I'm very excited. I'm still waiting on the English dub because I I'm dumb and I enjoy the English mm-hmm. voices for JoJo. I think they're actually very, incredibly well voiced. Um, I haven't I haven't watched it since like partway through part four. Um, you got just quite because, a backlog. Yeah, that's because that's when I started reading it, and I just haven't gone back. Anyway, manga's good. 